In this week's portion, Re'e, we learn the magnificent mitzvah of tzedakah, of giving our, of our finances, giving of ourselves to help the person who calls out to us for help. The Rambam Maimonides, in his famous work in the section of Matanos Lanim, Gifts for the Needy, the Rambam explains that if a needy person comes to us and I give him a thousand gold coins, but I give it to him with a sour face, with an angry countenance, I lose the entire mitzvah. Tzedakah should be given in a way to make the needy person feel good, not only to preserve the person's dignity, but to make him feel extra special. The Rambam goes on. What if the answer is no? What if I can't help the person with the request of what they're asking? It should be done with feeling, with sweetness, and with love. Just like a father who is dealing with his beloved child, the no should be with sweetness, because we have to emulate God, and God is a loving Father. Rav Shimshon Pincus explains beautifully that this concept of the Rambam, of how to say no, can apply in so many different areas in our human interactions. And the person who asks us for a favor, does not have to be a needy person. But when he needs something, for that aspect, the person is in need. So all of the laws of how to deal with a needy person apply to the person in need. So, even when we have to say no, it must be done with feeling, with compassion, and with love to make the other person feel special. And it might even happen that if we communicate in that way, even when we think the answer would be no, sometimes we could even change and realize out of our love that we could actually help that person. This coming month, Elul, is a time of love where God says, Ani lidodi bidodi li, and we say to God, I am for my beloved, my beloved is for me. Let us emulate God in our interactions with one another. Certainly, to say yes with a smile, but even if it's a no, let it be with sweetness, with feeling, and with love. Have a beautiful Shabbos. Mm-hmm.